I'm here today in Neville's Court, Trinity College, and I'm about to repeat an experiment done by Isaac Newton nearly 400 years ago, so let's get to it. So the experiment that Isaac Newton did was to measure the speed of sound by clapping and listening to the echo that comes back from the other end of this court. So let's see what happens. For me, measuring the speed of sound is going to be quite easy because all I need to know is the distance and the time between the clap and the echo. And all of this can be found using my computer. But Isaac Newton didn't have a computer. Well, I mean, obviously he didn't have a computer. He was living in the 1600s. But anyway, he didn't have a computer. So he had to do something really smart to measure the speed of sound. I mean, it's pretty in character for him. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that Sir Isaac Newton was, he was pretty good at maths. Um, so to find the time between the echo and the clap, he synced up a pendulum. So when a pendulum swings, it, uh, it has a fixed time period, and this time period is related by an equation to the length, and Isaac Newton just derived the equation. So when he tuned a pendulum to match the clap and echo, he could determine the time. To better understand Newton's approach, let's have a look at an animation that I made in SolidWorks. Here is the derivation of the equation that relates the time period and length of a pendulum. Using the equation shown, Newton measured the length of his sync pendulum and found it had a time period of about 0.42 seconds. After going through this method, Isaac Newton found that the speed of sound was about 298 meters per second, which is, it's on, it's on the slow side, but bearing in mind what he was doing, that's pretty good. But let's see, with my modern technology, let's see how good I can get. With help from Google Maps, measuring the distance over which the clap echoes is super easy. I've determined the distance to be about 65 meters, which obviously I'll have to double when I do calculations. Next, I'm gonna use some sound editing software to measure the time between the clap and the echo. I was hoping there would be a clear second peak in the audio for the echo, but this is what I deserve for filming with phones. However, if we listen carefully, the echo can still be found. After listening to this recording enough times to make my ears bleed, I found the exact point at which the echo starts. This gave a time between the clap and the echo of 0.39 seconds. Combining my estimates for the time and distance, my value for the speed of sound is 333 meters per second. At sea level, the actual speed of sound is about 340 meters per second. So my estimate is pretty good. Did I just one up Isaac Newton? Yes, I did. Um, if you like the videos like this, please consider subscribing. Um, I'll make more videos like this, so thanks for watching and